We had put a bunch of tarantulas and snakes in our closet. And, bro, it was wild. The cops showed up. It was crazy, bro. Were they questioning huh? you? What's good, everyone? Welcome to the Posted Podcast. I am the Postman. We got Mo Martinez, Brose, and Lo. On today's episode, we talk about more ghost stuff, more ghost stories, more paranormal stuff, just things that, stories, pretty much. I went on this field trip, and then I think it was like an old army base or something like hella back in the day, but it was like campgrounds now. And uh, it was just overnight, so I went there. Uh, it was totally fine. I remember I came home and I fell asleep on the couch for like 10 minutes, but it was such a like heavy sleep. I was like out, out. And then I remember I woke up and I started freaking out, bro. I was like flipping the couch over. I was like ripping the pillows off. I was like looking, my mom was talking to me. I could not hear what she was saying. And she was like this close to me. You were oh, and you went on that field trip, and when you got back home, that yeah, happened. Yeah, when I got back home, okay. so I'm like moving, I'm like throwing the pillows, I'm like pulling the like the like the seat cushion pillows off the couch, and I'm like I pulled the couch and I look behind the couch, and my mom is my mom's talking to me, but it sounded like she was talking like this to me. Yeah, and but she was like right here, yeah. and I'm like flipping the couch, and my mom's like Lalo, and then um and then I sit down. And I, and I, like, I stop, I sit down for like two seconds and then I feel like somebody punched me in the chest, bro. And it was like, (gasps) and then I grabbed the couch and I was like breathing. And then my mom was just, and I looked at my mom and I was like, what was I looking for? Hella calm. I was like, what was I looking for? And my mom's just staring at me. She's like, why were you freaking out? Like, what's going on? I was like, I couldn't find it. But I, but I, I'm okay now. And she's like, fine, what? And I was like, I don't know. What was I looking for? I asked her again. And then I think I asked you about it. I don't remember. I asked somebody about it. And they said that, that I was like, they said that I I was astral projecting. Yeah. And that when you, and that when that happens, it means like your body, your like physical body woke up while you were still out. And that punch that I felt in my chest was like, boom, like coming back, like some Dr. Strange shit, bro. Like, yeah. And so that that's what it was. And I just remember like, as soon as like, I felt that like, (gasps) what was I looking for? Like hella calm, bro. Like nothing had just happened. And my mom was just like, what the fuck just happened? (laughs) That shit was crazy, bro. That shit was... I still think about it. I'm like, damn, bro. Like, that's wild. Yeah. And then, I mean, it's never happened to me again, but... I mean, it, it probably has. You, you just... Or, I mean... You're asleep. No, like, that situation yeah, has never like happened that, again, yeah. where I, like... Astral cut oh, off. Tore the house up. Bro, there was one time. I was in L.A. Um, and this was, like, 2018 when I had moved out there. I was... My... The living room was my room. And this was this was when I was living with with my boy Rue and Ali. Shout out to them. Um, yeah, when we moved out to LA, and uh, they like shared the room, and then I had the living room, so I was sleeping on the couch. And I remember I was sleeping on my stomach, and um, and I woke up, and it was at like a like the sleep paralysis thing where it's like. Like mentally, you wake up, but the rest of your body's not fully awake yet, mm-hmm. and so it. But it had never happened to me like face down. Yeah, that's right. Weird. Like yeah. it normally Usually happens when you're, you're, your you're like sleeping on yeah. your back or whatever. Or your side. But I was face down, and then I like I was sleeping on the couch like this, right? Um, by by this time, like it's happened to me enough times to where I know I'm like. All right, cool. Like, I don't need to freak out. I know the rest of my body's going to be functional in, like, the next couple minutes or whatever. And so, um, and then out of nowhere, I just see, like, a... Oh, fuck that. And I'm like, hmm. Like a shadow? Yeah. And I'm like, all right. And so, but again, like, 
the re- it's not like I can move my head or whatever. I'm just like awake. My eyes are open, but the rest of my body is slumped. The only light comes through the fucking window to like where the kitchen's at. And then, bro, I hear like this intense, like desperate screaming, bro. Oh, fuck that. Like, like the type of screaming that comes from your stomach and is like belting through your chest, bro. Like gut wrenching scream. And then the rest of the house starts to get dark. Right, that light's going away, right? And I feel, and, but it's it's not like the whole house. It's because whatever the fuck I saw is coming closer, and the screams getting louder, and louder, and louder, dude. And I feel like the goosebumps run from like my heels all the way up my body, bro. And then now I, I can feel myself like, <laughs> oh, yeah. bro. And then the light turns on from the from the hallway, cause one of my roommates comes out and the moment he flicked the light on my body just i pushed myself off the couch and i jumped up off the couch and then he sticks his head out like the hallway and he was like hello you good and i was like oh yeah like i just got a cramp whatever i hella lied about it bro but i bro i was fucking sweating I had to change shirts where I was freaking the fuck out. I would have slept with my roommates. <laughs> <laughs> and I just, I sat on the couch where like this. For like a good like 20 minutes. Bro, I was fucking. Let me sandwich in between you guys. Mm, bro. I, oh, bro. I, <laughs> Why are the roommates already sleeping together? I know. I'm in the middle. <laughs> Bro, I was I was terrified. Like they didn't bro. even have to be sleeping together. I was terrified, I'm bro. I was like, I was holy shit, dude! Like, even oh, even right God. now, I'm like, bro. Yeah. Like, I I never heard nothing like that. I never seen none shit like that. I was just like, what the fuck? Like later on that year, my lady came through with her sister. She's also very like sensitive, right, mm-hmm. to stuff like that. And the very first day they got there um they came in and she walked in and she was just like and she just had that look like she was looking at the house and she was like hmm something there right yeah there. and then she and then like she looked at, at my girl and she just like like she just shook her head and I was just like, I was like, oh, shit. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been hot, bro. What's up? <laughs> what did that see in my house, bro? Bro. <laughs> what did you and see? then, so, uh, we went to sleep. And maybe, like, at 2, it was like 2.30 in the morning, some shit like that. Witching hour. I, I woke up. <laughs> I woke up, and the lights were on in the living room. I was what the hell? Because we all slept in the living room, right? Because that, that was my quote-unquote room. And, bro, my, my girl was like, like cradling her, like rocking her to sleep because she had sleep paralysis and oh. she saw some shit that she did not want to see and she was like crying hella crazy. I was like, oh, fuck, bro. I was just like, and then after that was when I told him, I was like, hey, like this shit actually happened to me like not too long ago and it tripped me out. And it didn't help, bro, that we had a neighbor who was like schizophrenic. Oh, and that makes sense. her episodes would come at like three in the morning was she ever in that house who your neighbor our house yeah i don't know i don't think so it was a duplex so we shared like that wall was the only thing separating her house and ours so it didn't help that her episodes would come out like three in the morning bro Mm -hmm. and she'd be banging on the wall like viciously bro like and screaming and like all this other shit and i remember one day I finally told my roommates about like what had happened to me and like how what it felt and I was just like bro like I'm not the type of person who's like can, I don't consider myself like sensitive I ain't never had no supernatural experiences I've never felt no crazy shit that shit was wild though bro like that was crazy and it wasn't her screaming yeah. and so we were talking about it and we're like bro like what if this whole time like she's not actually schizophrenic what if she's just seen thing. some shit in her house, bro, and she's, like, literally fighting demons, bro. Like, she sees some shit, and she don't know how to, like, she's just, she don't know what what that is and can't separate what's real from what's not real, like, in the physical world. Makes a great movie. I remember one day she was just, like, 
<laughs> we were all at work, bro. And she just, she also did have her episodes where she was just like, all right, like you on some crazy shit. <laughs> she, the fucking cops pulled up. And and she had called the cops and said that her neighbors were fucking drug lords from Colombia <laughs> and that we had put a bunch of tarantulas and snakes in her closet. And, bro, it was wild. The cops showed up. It was crazy, bro. Were they questioning huh? you? No, nah, as soon as soon as they they walked into her house after she talked with after she talked with them, they didn't even bother talking to us. Damn, what her house looked like? Tarantulas. And snakes. I don't know, bro. Like yeah, those are her words. What the hell? There's tarantulas and snakes in my closet. They're trying to kill me. They're drug lords from Colombia, and I'm like, first of all, bitch, if we were drug lords from Colombia, we would not be living here right now. That's facts. <laughs> in a mansion. Yeah. In Colombia. <laughs> in Colombia. Yeah, but that that's like a conversation that we had. We were like, bro, like, what if she's not crazy? be scary for a poor girl imagine yeah. yeah bro she was like an older lady too oh she's older okay. she just looked crazy bro like i saw her maybe like three times in the whole year and a half that i lived there yeah i remember one time she was coming out and i was in my car and i was backing out and she looked at me and she started yelling some shit. I was like, Vroom. Oh, God. Bro. <laughs> oh, God. God. Yeah, bro. And it, bro, she looked crazy. She always had on this like little f- black, like flowered, like dress, like skirt thing. Mm. She was wearing a shirt. She was always walking around with a broom and her hair was all nappy and like crazy. Bro. Oh, and, bruja, huh? it, oh, like oh. a bruja, bro. For it's real. Yeah. And she just had this like intense, like, she'd look at you and, like, Oh she'd like God. i'd be like oh shit bro That's like i'm scary. out i'm telling you i feel like so everybody's born with it we all have this we all have our senses of certain things that you're like mm, something ain't right when you read somebody their body language and how they act you're like mm, something's off about this person or something will tell you hey you know what me llevo bien con ellos like i like this person i'm gonna like you cool but yeah, so we all have it, and we're just, um, a lot of people just don't tap into it or don't keep it. <laughs> Dumb bitch. Oh my god. You asleep? No, oh, night night. <laughs> but yeah, we all lose it at some point, and pe- some people don't. Yeah. People are more aware than others, and I just, I'm the type that it stuck through. You still got your powers. I still got it. Unfortunately, sometimes it's, it's fortunate, sometimes it's very unfortunate, and... There's situations and, and things that have happened where I can't, there's nothing I can do. And I'm, I'm visually, while in a trance, seeing somebody die. And that fucking sucks. Thank you everyone for watching the Posted Podcast. I am the Postman. We got Mo Martinez, Brose, and Lo. Follow us on Instagram, like, comment, subscribe, and peace out. Bye.